Freddy? Second day in Texas, buddy. How you feeling? Yeah! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Come on, Fred. Let's go. Come on. Go potty. Go potty. Bad thing about him pottying out here is there's not much grass to choose from. I know. I know. We're running on a budget here. Uh, like I said, second day in Texas. Today is Wednesday, like I promised. Today is the crane hunt. Sand Hill Cranes, I have no idea how many times y'all have recommended that I get down in Texas and I do this. Not only that, I cannot uh, even imagine how long I've wanted to actually do this. I've wanted to shoot cranes forever. A lot of you know last year, I went on that Ducks Unlimited trip up in Nebraska during spring. And it was during the return migration of all the cranes in Grand Island, Nebraska, that is, on the North Platte. And we watched like a million cranes roost on the river. That was cool, right? Now we get to sit out decoys and we get to shoot them. But today's got a twist, whole Fred, poor guy. He gonna have to stay in the truck. We're taking the truck, he's gonna have to stay in the topper. He can't hunt today. And the reason why, because cranes are very, very dangerous. Their beaks are extremely sharp. Uh, I actually know of a guy, his dog got stabbed in the gut and actually didn't end up making it. Uh, Trevor's dog, Sage, she actually wears what well, pretty much goggles like mine. They're called Rex Specs and they cover their eyes so they can't get their eyes poked out by these cranes. These cranes, they're, they're bad news for dogs. So, I'm sorry Frederick, but today you're gonna have to chill in the truck, buddy. It's just for his own safety. But before we get into this video, this video is sponsored by DucksWaterfowl.com. Check out that gear. Oh yeah. All you duck and goose hunters, if you want to help support the channel, you know what to do. Go down in the description below. Hit the ducks hoodie, the ducks hat link, either or, and pick you up something from ducks. Whenever you guys do, it does. It goes directly to supporting the channel and helping me bring you guys more of these videos. Well, we are in the truck, and uh, I wanted to give you guys a little information, things that I've learned about West Texas just being down here. It's really interesting traveling to uh, just different places, you know, North Dakota, Canada. I've been to Manitoba, Alberta, just understanding the landscape and trying to learn why the birds like it so much and, and just and so what I'm getting at is on the way down here when I really started to get deep into West Texas I started noticing one thing I started seeing birds but they were roosting on one thing they have an abundant of massive massive sheet water holes uh, just sheet water holes and uh, they are full right now they they had enough rain to really fill them up and that is oh and they have a bunch of jackrabbits man but anyways, what I'm getting at is uh, these birds down here, they don't roost, they really don't roost on lakes or, or farm ponds or anything or sand pits, nothing like that. They roost on sheet water. So it's just interesting to think about because uh, I was talking to Trevor and, and I was trying to, you know, get edumacated up on the cranes and I was like, well, where do they roost? What are they doing? They're like, they roost with the geese and I'm like, on the sheet water. He was like, yeah. He was like, because it's gotta be shallow enough for them to stand. That's true, cranes don't float, they stand. So just like when I went to Nebraska on the uh, Platte River, they were standing in the river roosting overnight. It's just something cool to learn. Uh, I wanted to pass it on to you guys. If you guys have any questions that I might be able to answer about cranes or anything, drop a comment down below, let me know. And um, I'm gonna try to learn as much as I can down here because it's interesting. This is a whole new world for me, uh, especially the crane deal. Oh, Freddy, I know, dude, I know. Old oh, Freddy, he wants to hunt, but it's just for his own good. Yeah. You did? Yeah. Oh, you got there. That's the old Rex Specs, The old huh? doggy goggles. I don't know if Fred would, would be having it if I tried putting it on him. Man, I forgot my sunglasses the other day and I wore these oh, things. So it looks like snow goggles. <laughs> You're getting beat up by a girl. You ready, uh, you ready to shoot some cranes, dude? Yep. It's gonna be dope. You been, uh, you been waiting on this day, huh? Yeah. It's gonna be fun. Yep. Some big birds. Yeah, they're giants. Giants. Old Freddy, though, he's gonna be mad at me. He's gonna be real mad at me. Well, just parked the trucks. Uh, two cranes are working over the boys in the field right now. We're all sitting here walking in going, shoot them, come on, just shoot them right now. They ain't shot yet. Old Sation though. 
She keeps wiping the, the uh, old goggles on the ground, huh? <laughs> we'll see how she likes them. Does she usually day. leave them on all, all hunt? This is the first time she's ever used them. But if you all want to book a West Texas crane hunt with Tornado Country Outfitters, this is what you got to do. Tell them your number. 541-403-1414. My name's Trevor. Text, call Trevor, hit him up. It's about to be on. Get up! We just got into them. Yeah, you can Did we them. lay them all out? Lay Was that the whole flock? Hey, them. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's go see these pterodactyls. All right. First of all, y'all know the drill. If you like the video, you got to hit the thumbs up button. My first crane down right here. That was cool. Feels like I'm in Jurassic Park out here. You know what I mean? Woo! We cleaned the slate. We completely mocked them. Wow. Let me see one of them big old dudes. Holy. Look at this. Oh my. Pterodactyl dude. We better wring his neck. Yeah. Here we are. That's the last one I shot here. This is the for sure one that I just shot. Wow. What a bird. What a bird. Holy smokes. That's a big dude. Those are big birds. That's a young bird too, isn't it? That's really not like a big, big one. Ooh. Wow, that one's a lot bigger than this one though. Look at the head on that one. Wow, that was awesome, dude. Wow, that was awesome. So, this is the one I shot here, a younger bird compared to this guy. Check how big his head is. Now when I was talking about beaks, that's that's the dangerous part there. That's where old Frederick could lose an eye. Sation, she's got the old Rex specs on. Uh, didn't you say that a dog died once? At... Yeah, one of my buddies had one pierced the side. He was carrying it by the breast and it was still alive and he kept throwing it in on the side. Ended up killing the dog. Oh my, that's wow. scary, dude. Well, looking at these daggers, I wouldn't doubt it. That's a big dude. That's taller than you are, dude. Jeez, <laughs> you could do one arm curls with that bad boy. Oh yeah, that was good. We absolutely cleaned them. I mean, that was sweet. Come Woo, go down. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Sage, oh, that's awesome, dude. Isn't that awesome? Hey, Gavin, look, Gavin. What? Sage. Uh oh, Come they're fighting. Here. Old Sation's fighting. She's like, I'm out. <laughs> look at this group coming right here. Woo! Holy, they can't get out of the hole fast enough. These boys, them boys, dead. This is uh, the old spread today using full body crane decoys. How many, uh, uh-oh, uh oh Sation's in trouble. You gotta lay those on. She don't, wanna, she don't wanna leave them goggles on. 
They say drop Come on, goggles. the girls like... No, I guess she is a girl. I was going to say the girls like goggles. <laughs> <laughs> Sage is a trooper. She was out there battling one, stood up and it arched us back and put its wings out at her. She was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't shoot near as good on that one, boys. <laughs> It'd be all right. It'd be all right. It'd be all right. It'd be all right. What did we kill? Two, three? We killed two and three, four. I think just two. Three. Two? We'll take it. We will take it. Yes, well, well, well. Um, since the last volley, it's been, I don't know, roughly 30 minutes. And one thing about this is I guess you have to, uh, once it gets slow, once they start sliding around you like they're doing, it's good to come out here and actually pick up all the feathers, just like this. This right here, like pick up all the feathers. Like, uh, they're saying that the cranes are literally that smart. They hone in on anything. If they see something that they don't like, like a big pile of white feathers, they're going to be like, that's not good. We don't like it. So, pretty interesting. It's a whole different game, whole different ballpark. I really feel like I'm in Jurassic Park out here. Um, way different. They'll look like they're coming at you, like at 100 yards they'll be locked up. And then, uh, still takes them an hour to get there it seems like. But uh, awesome hunt, if you guys like it so far, please, like I said earlier, smash the thumbs up button for your boy. It helps a bunch. Oh, old Sage or Tim, look at her. You're a cute girl with them on, man. I gotta get some for Frederick. Oh, you leave them on there. You leave them on there. You're doing pretty good for your first time wearing them, huh? Is that her first time wearing them? Uh, I put them on for like a couple minutes back at the lodge and stuff like that, but yeah, she. This is the first full-fledged full, full -fledged hunt with them, huh? Yeah. Yep. She's doing real good with them. Yeah, we had a crane peck her eye already. Yeah, crane, the crane actually pecked. Hold on, girl, sit. Sit, girl, oh, sit. Yeah. She's like, just let me rub them off of you. Crane pecked her right there. Yo, you can see it. Yeah. Wow. Good thing you had the doggles. Yep. Huh, doggles? The, doggles. the doggles. The doggles. I like that. <laughs> we got to get Fred some doggles. <laughs> old Sation. She's a life of the party today. Got the old specs on, looking like me with goggles. You know. But that's it. That is it. We're done. They got into a. Uh, they got into three more. I've been limited out. I've just been filming with my phone and enjoying and gabbing to everybody. It's been awesome. Good lordy, look at all the ducks here. we got there? out here though? Jeez, all Check kinds of support. <laughs> Jeez, that's what's up. What do you got there? You got a baby? That's the one you're mounting, right? Yeah, we're going to mount it up. That's a good looking dude. That's a big old beast. Goodness. First time ever mounting a crane, huh? First time ever mounting a crane. I wonder how much that bad boy is going to cost. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there we are. Goodness, that's the first time I've ever seen a pile like this. Old Sation, though, it ain't her first rodeo. Woo! Woo! Holy smokes! First one to go get my truck, gonna pull in, go get the other guys, and take them to their truck. It's a nice thing to do for your buddies. But what a hunt. Uh, this Texas wind, two days in a row now, it's been like five to seven mile an hour, and then like right at 10 o'clock. It's just like it doesn't progressively increase. It, the wind just goes and hits you out of nowhere. But what an epic hunt. 20 birds down. Uh, Chris, uh, he's actually mountain one. Uh, just so awesome. Awesome guys. Uh, day two here. Let me, let me find my words. Day two, three new guys uh, that I've never met. They all showed up this morning in the dark, ready to set decoys. They jumped out of the truck, and each one of them had ducks thermal hoodies on. And I'm like, 
well, they obviously know who I am. What's up, boys? And they're like, where's Fred? <laughs> uh, just awesome, awesome, awesome group of guys the last two days. Uh, literally everybody is a subscriber that I've hunted with the last two days. It's so, so rewarding. I'm so humble. Um, I'm speechless, man. A lot of love. A lot of love from you all out there. I appreciate it so much. I love, I love what I do. This is not my job. This is not a job. This is my passion. This is how I get to communicate with y'all and make more friends and family and just spread the awesome word of waterfowl hunting. And I'm, I'm just, I'm blessed, man. Jeez, dude, come on, man. <laughs> Oh, I'll tell you, old Fred and I, we've been buddies on this trip. It's been fun. Just been two dudes out on our own, out on the road, making videos for you all, you know. But uh, I want to kick off the cook clean portion. Now, the cleaning, couldn't show any of that on camera because you all know YouTube. <coughs> Ugh. But some buddies of ours that were clients on this hunt, actually, that are actually subscribers. So the three dudes that had all the ducks gear on, those guys, they are cooking the crane for us tonight. And we're headed over to their place. They're going to show us a little meal. They know how to make it good, I guess. So that is what my taste buds have been craving all this trip. <laughs> oh, boy. Crane onion fajitas is what we got going on here. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be, good. it smells amazing. It smells ridiculous. 24. Well, here's the finished product. Now that is some grade A looking and smelling fajita meat right there. Wow. So this is a Spanish style crane cook. Uh, beans, Mexican rice, right? Absolutely. Well, it looks like this is the move. A little bit yeah, of add a little bean layer. Yep, bean layer first. I'm wa I watched you oh, first. I messed up. I, watched I messed you up. So. Look, look. I <laughs> messed up. I see what you're doing. Yeah, you gotta add. I messed it's gotta, up. It's gotta stick to the tortilla. Give her a backwards. good spreading. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. You know what's that? Do you have a? Yep. Thank you for holding it, dude. Absolutely, man. I it appreciate makes it easier, that. right? Yeah, that, that's a brother help, right there. Help the camera guy out. I got my camera in one hand, he's helping me out in the other. Yeah. Making it happen. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, boy. I'm telling you, this doesn't oh, smell true. like wild game that we just shot today. That's for darn sure. This is going to be good, dude. It's going to be delicious. Awesome. I actually cannot wait. We actually went and we found these guys this morning yeah and then we killed them and now we're gonna put them in our mouths and, <laughs> and, and just we're gonna, enjoy we're, it's a circle of life this is a lion king <laughs> this is the real lion king yeah. and i'm pretty excited about it i can't wait oh what are you what are you putting on here man we got the the rice the beans the queso guac salsa and some freshly killed crane she can't, <laughs> can't go wrong crane. can't go wrong <laughs> this is mine this is what i'm working with topped it off with a little bit of salsa no, but you need this. Oh, a little bit of. Oh, yeah, you're you're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. Okay. Take a little bit of guac. Oh, thanks, thanks for the hold again. Right there. First bite. No. Oh. I'm telling you, man. Nothing like it, man. That don't taste like crane at all. What does crane taste like? Not good. No. I don't taste like we killed it today. <laughs> well, we are back home, back in Kansas, and uh, me and Bodie just got done editing this video up for you all this morning. Uh, I really hope you guys liked the crane hunt. What are you doing, man? You're making funny faces. I really hope you guys enjoyed the crane hunt. Uh, it's always, you know, it's always difficult being away from home with the family. But this hunt, man, these guys made me feel like family, friends, neighbors, call it what you will, great people. And shout out to their wives, their girlfriends for cooking for us. That was amazing. Let me tell you what, the crane fajita, 
game changer. Absolute game changer. When people say it is uh, the ribeye of the sky, in fact, they are not lying, let me tell you, because it was amazing. Oh, I love you. Oh, my buddy. But if you guys like this video, please smash a thumbs up button for us. Let's get this video over like 3,000 likes. It's, it seems like it's been forever since I've had a video go that big. Do you have a tennis? Huh? Upstairs? Yeah, we'll go upstairs and play in one minute. But subscribe if you guys haven't. Hit that little notification bell down there because it'll notify you when I upload. And like I said earlier, if you guys want to help support the channel, help me bring you guys more of these videos, you know what to do. Go down in the description below, click the Ducks Waterfowl link, pick you up something. It goes directly to helping me bring you guys more of these videos. But thank you. Until next time. Say peace, buddy. Peace. Cause I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL, got a girl